at five after an initial delay. The mayor's office announced a major step forward when it comes to fighting homelessness. Mayor Steve Adler's office said the city of Austin will meet its goal of finding homes for 200 homeless veterans by tomorrow. But as KXAN's Phil Prazen reports, while this is a step forward, the battle against homelessness will continue. Austin continues to attract the rich and the well off, but a lot of people remain on the streets. The homelessness is like the worst. You know what I mean? Being homeless is worse than being in penitentiary. Gary Robinson served in the Marine Corps. In January, he lived in his car. Now, he has an apartment and is graduating from ACC to be an auto technician. He says having a home made it possible. If I would have been homeless, continued out through my graduation, I don't know if I would have made it. He's a success story in a larger step forward in the mayor's initiative to end veteran homelessness. But it's important not to end here. If we declare victory now, then people go, that's great, man, I'm done, we're done, all right, let's take a bow. And you have this ongoing, ever unraveling problem. Richard Troxell from House the Homeless says we still need long-term affordable housing, resources for mental health, and advocates in the field to identify when new veterans move to Austin. Bring that all together, wrap it around these people in such a way that the veteran will stay. You know, the blessings have been nonstop. Gary's an example to follow, but the fight continues for the plight of the homeless. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. The mayor's office says their initiative would not have worked without the cooperation from landlords, apartment associations, and the Texas Association of Realtors. The average cost for a veteran to rent an apartment in this program ranges from $350 to $900. So who pays for it? Breaking it down, the Department of Housing and Urban Development teams up with the Department of Veterans Affairs to provide vouchers. All eligible veterans receive this. But the Mayor's Hero Fund provides an extra boost by using the private donations to pick up the tab if the veteran's voucher cannot cover the cost. Building on Austin's aim to find a place to stay for homeless veterans, overall homelessness statewide is actually dropping. Take a closer look. There are around 28,000 people in Texas who are homeless. And that's according to the Texas Homeless Network. That number is down 17% from one year ago. Echo says here in Austin, there is somewhere in the ballpark of 1,900 people who do not have a place to call home. That is also down from 2014.